What is going on guys? Rodney here with Crypto Bros. Welcome to tonight's video. Today we're actually talking about Fusex. Now it's very possible you've never heard of this project before and I say that because it's kind of flown under the radar. It doesn't have a super huge community. It doesn't have a super huge Twitter. Telegram is only 5,000-ish people but I think there's a lot of potential for this coin and I've been following this project for the last maybe three to four months and I can tell you this is kind of how I, uh, I jumped on board here is I saw that they actually brought Charlie Shrem on as an advisor. Now, if you don't know who he is, um, he's the founder of the BitcoinFoundation.org, chief visionary at Crypto.io or .iq, but also just very um, well-respected, well-endowed in the space. Um, what really actually turned me on to Charlie Shrem was he was featured on like a uh, on the Palm Beach report. He kind of made the call on Syndicator when that went off the charts a, a few months back. So I've kind of just been following what he's had going on here. So if we actually flip over to their Twitter really quick, and we'll, we'll kind of follow up with this in a little bit, but you can see, you know, this was taken six hours ago where he's showing off the, uh, the Fusex card on CNBC Fast Money. So very interesting here, finally getting some publicity, but let's talk about Fusex. So, very easy concept to understand. They're essentially putting all your debit cards, all your credit cards, all your cryptocurrencies, and all like your reward programs, whether that's Starbucks or whatever, all onto one card that you can use pretty much anywhere. Again, the kind of the focus of their, their project here is adoption. And I'm very big on, on adoptions, especially when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Again, that's a very hard thing to... Um, kind of speculate on just because there are so many different avenues in terms of adoption, whether that is peer-to-peer -peer currencies, whether that's payment processing, all the other things they have going on. This is just another one of those. So and we can see here, you know, clever idea, store up to 15 cryptocurrency accounts, 10 credit cards or debit cards, and five reward cards all on one e-card. You guys can check these a uh, couple of videos out here just to give you an idea how these work. This little screen here holds kind of all your information. You can scroll left and right, see how much your balances are, what you have going on. Has a swiping you know platform just like any other card. But again, their their kind of their goal and what we'll kind of talk about when we go over to their white paper is they're like they the problem that they're trying to solve is they're like hey. We understand that people love cryptocurrencies, but we're trying to make an actual use case for it by bringing, you know, by being able to use this in your everyday life. You're not just hanging on to it because you think it's cool. You can actually use it out there in the real world. So again, just kind of a breakdown of the project. Screen, you can charge it, has a rechargeable battery, long battery life. In terms of it just coming off the ICO phase, Right now, it, it's just debuting on Livecoin, Cost.io, Hit BTC, and Cabin Hood. We're gonna look at the price action here in just a few minutes. 100% sold out on their ICO. Raised a hard cap of 40,000 ETH. And at this time, I, I think Ethereum was right around a thousand bucks. We can see the investors get 12,000 tokens per one Ethereum. Total of a billion tokens. Um, out there or 1.8 billion tokens looks like roughly 60% went out on the private sale pre-sale and the uh, the bonus and then the other 40 is kind of divided between their team technology acquisitions partnerships advisors and bounties very interesting we're gonna look at the white paper in just a second um, I will say it's very clean very easy to read but as we get down to their team there's definitely and you guys kind of know how I review the team but there's definitely some big names within the team um, quality people who have done some work in the space. They've done everything from payment processing to hardware type stuff to blockchain stuff. So interesting there. And, and I think one thing I'll note down is they are going to be coming out with their own hardware wallet at some points. Um, and that just kind of all ties everything together in their experience in those three fields. Once we get down to their advisory board, um, some pretty big names in here. Uh, we have the CEO keynote the um, co-founder and president of Task Fund, CEO of ICO Crowd Blockchain Lab, Megalodon Capital, we have an attorney, ICO Crowd Asia, and obviously Charlie Shrem. So some names here, some cool partners. They have some good things going on for them. We'll kind of scroll through their Twitter because it's kind of a big day for them. 
But um, but over to their white paper, and I just want to point out a couple things. Um, one just kind of talks about their vision really quick, and we'll, we'll skirt through this. You guys can check this out again. Super easy read, super easy concept to understand. They talk you through some of the things they're working through in terms of security, what happens if you lose your card or your cell phone. So all that stuff is in there, so it is worth a look. But again, very easy read. It says, our vision here at FuseX is to break down the nice to own but difficult to spend problem with cryptocurrencies and help bring to completion its journey as a widely recognized and accepted form of money. We seek to solve this usability issue of cryptocurrency by combining our experience in payment solutions, blockchain, blockchain technology, and our technical know-how in software and hardware development. So these guys are pretty well-rounded. Again, you guys can scroll through here. You know, talks about some of their um, current projects they have with the Fuse card. Um, a lot of people get those two confused. It's, I think maybe the best way to describe it is they're kind of in the same building, but there's two different teams and, and, and units kind of working. One works on the Fuse card, one works on the Fuse X, but they have 30,000 of those Fuse cards out there um, in distribution working. People seem to like them, whatever. But yeah, you guys can check this out. So moving on in terms of price point, we, like I said, we are just fresh off the ICO, debuted on the exchanges at 3.3 cents and is currently at 9.5 cents. So we're almost at a 3x straight out of ICO. It's been very nice for it to kind of, you know, it, the ICO thing is very weird because sometimes we see them hit these new exchanges, plummet or go down, then back up. What I, what I will say, and, and just because I'm involved in their telegram, is how... I don't know, proud or bullish people are on this project. They're very open to holding it um, for a longer term instead of a quick flip on there. And so, you know, if guys did sell, sell, you know, if they got in and out, you know, they've done a nice two to three X on there. I don't think most people would complain about that. But um, we are going to look at their competitor at this point, and it is actually um, 10X. So you guys may actually be f very familiar with 10X came out quite a while ago um, same type of concept they have their own card it's you know connected to a uh, to a cell phone blah 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 we're not going super in depth on here but in terms of price points and token economics you know we can see that currently fusex fusex is at we're going to call it nine and a half cents um, trading at I don't know 460 uh, four hundred and sixty-four thousand dollars. So not even quite half a million at this point, and total supply is up over a billion tokens. Ten X at this point is trading at a dollar twenty-nine, um, almost eight million dollars in trading volume a day. But its total supply is two hundred million. So that's a very interesting piece there in terms of supply and demand, and, and in terms of maybe a price point, um, the strength that Ten X would have is that it does have a lower supply of tokens. The thing to note here on this coin is it is down almost 100% for its all-time high. So if you guys are um, if you guys are interested in in this type of coin, like it's down a lot from its all-time high. So very interesting piece there, but but one thing that that I do want to say is that, you know, as we see more of these type of, you know, we'll call it say card projects or things that come in that let you carry your cryptocurrencies with you, you know, I think competition is very good for this space specifically. That means that there's, you know, uh, some innovation and the problems they're trying to solve. And, you know, there's more than one credit card. There's more than one payment processing company. You know, most major companies have large competitors. And that just shows that there's a need for it. And I'm thinking that in, in you know, maybe the next five years or so, I don't know, 10, maybe this is more of an adaptable thing and that where not only you have just one card in your wallet, if any, you just carry this around. It's very, very possible. Again, this is all completely speculation, but it just seems with the way and, and the popularity that cryptocurrency is going, especially in some of the, the uh, millennial-based generations, that this could be a very normal thing. May sound far-fetched currently, but um, could be a normal thing. So anyway, here we are on the FuseX, uh, just Twitter here. This was just posted six hours ago, and it just is showing off my FuseX card on CNBC Fast Money. So very cool kind of exposure there. Again, just talking about some of the exchanges that it hit. It did just hit Livecoin, hit BTC, Coss, and Cobbin Hood 
all trading live on there. So if you are interested in picking this token up, you can absolutely go onto any of those exchanges and grab it. They're doing a lot of things currently. Um, this is seven hours ago. They were, you know, their CEO and founder was giving a speech in front of a big influencer group. They're also at consensus, and that's actually part of the reason why I'm, I'm wanted to make this video today, not only because I've been following the project, but consensus is a very big uh, time of year, especially for cryptocurrencies. They they say it's the catalyst that kind of launches the bull market, or at least has historically. So with them being there, kind of getting some more exposure, I'm curious to see if that would do anything for the price action of this, this token, if you kind of think about it from like an ICO standpoint. Anybody who's already sold off, it's probably, you know, it's obviously cashed out. They may not be able to reap, reap the benefits or people who are freshly buying in now up 3x, which, which really isn't crazy if we look at ICO prices. You know, uh, a 3x is a great start, but I don't think that it is... Um, anything that's over the top or should deter anyone from getting in, especially when we see some of these projects do, you know, 20, 30, 50, 100 percent. But I did just kind of want to point that out, are getting some exposure, especially at a good time of the year. And when we talk about specifically this ICO listing um, back here, if, if you were kind of, obviously I followed this, so they pushed this out. This like I think was originally supposed to debut maybe and or hit the hit the markets in like March and then I believe it got pushed to April then I believe it got pushed to May and they basically like look guys we're trying to give our token the best kind of atmosphere to succeed and I think at first some of these people were you know not super thrilled about it but at the same time um, I think what they did was right and anyone who kind of was able to wait that out you know regardless of frustration was able to either cash in or is very happy just because they've seen a nice steady rise there's been no crazy spike there's been not a ton of crazy sell-off or anything like that so from an investor standpoint I think they did very good on behalf of their investors but anyway guys that is all I have for you today if you made it this far and you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel yet, all you have to do is come over here, hit the subscribe button. Just know how I, much I appreciate every single one of you guys as a subscriber. All the likes, all the love, all the comments. Seriously, thank you guys. That's all I have for you today. I will be back tomorrow with another video. I will catch you guys later.